All right, let's take a look at 138. Now, this is a doozy of an algebra problem. Here's the general idea. Sodium chloride plus the silver ion gives us silver chloride. Potassium does the same thing and gives us, again, silver chloride. So what's happening is that when we measure out the mass of the silver chloride and turn it into moles, that represents the moles of chloride that were originally present in our unknown ratio of potassium and sodium chlorides. Something that's going to be useful is the molar mass of this is 58.44. The molar mass of this is 74.55. Now, we have 8.5904 grams of silver chloride, and the molar mass of that is 143.4 grams per every mole. And that's going to give us moles of silver chloride. And since we have a one-to-one -one ratio of silver chloride to chloride, this will give us our moles of chloride present. And that's going to work out to be 5.991 times 10 to the minus 2. What else do we know? Well, we know that if we label this compound X, and we label this compound Y, that X plus Y in grams equals 4.000 grams. We also know that, so this is using our grams, we also know that moles, they should also have some sort of relationship. And again, moles is grams. Sodium we labeled as X. What's the molar mass of that? 58.44 plus the potassium chloride. What's the molar mass of that? 74.55. And so what we've done is we've taken the grams divided by the molar mass to give us moles. And we know that that should equal our 5.991 times 10 to the minus 2 moles. How do we proceed from here? Well, we have two equations, so we're going to have to use simultaneous solutions of these two equations. And I would recommend that you convert this to a single y by multiplying all of these by 70. No, let's go there. 74.55. 74.55. Seventy-four point five five. That's going to cancel these out. That's going to change this to one point two seven six x plus y gives us, and when you multiply that, you get four point four six six. Let's transfer these to another slide. One point two seven six x plus y equals 4.466. Let's take and subtract our first equation from that. So we're going to subtract x, we're going to subtract y, and we're going to subtract the 4.000 grams. Well, that gives us 0.276x equals, y's cancel out, 0.466. When you solve for x, you're going to end up with 1.69. Now remember, x was our grams of sodium chloride, and we can then subtract 4, or take 4 minus that, and find that our y then equals 2.31, and that was grams of potassium chloride. 
And we're still not quite done because they asked for a percentage. Well, sodium chloride is 1.69 grams over 4. And that's going to give us 42.3%. And then our potassium chloride is going to be it gives us 57.7%. Now, my decimals might be a little bit off, but that's the basic approach to how you want to solve this problem. So you can see we used the concept of simultaneous equations, but in all of these problems, we still use the concept of molar mass is grams divided by moles, even when we didn't know what that value was. We could still use variables. I hope this clears up what some of those problems will be. Have a great week.